Hey dolls, I'm Tatiana and welcome back to Lux Health. Uh, today we're going to debunk why waist training is dangerous, finally. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the two most popular videos on YouTube on why waist training is dangerous and they so happen to come from two talk shows. I know you know them, the Dr. Oz talk show and the Doctors TV show and I love them both. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're going to t bring up all the points that they brought up during their shows and we're gonna discuss them, okay? And I want you to know that, you know, disclaimer here that I am not not a doctor, I'm not here to give you medical advice. I'm just speaking from my experience. My experience as someone who has been waist training for three years now, also on behalf of the Lux Health Waist Trainers and on behalf of the Lux Curves Waist Training Dolls community. So that's where I'm speaking from. I hope this video resonates for you and let's jump into it. Dr. Paul Jeffords says the claims made by waist training manufacturers about shrinking your size. Much. We have a woman actually on the show who wants to literally be like a cartoon character. Her name is Pixie. Yeah. And she walks out with her waist really squeezed in. Ooh. And this is, there oh, she is. This is her? Yeah, I mean, she squeezed it to all kinds of places. Wow. I mean, this but, is actually <laughs> nothing new. The corset. It's often thought to be an antiquated Victorian torture device, but lately some women are actually wearing corsets on a regular basis in order to train their waist. She claims she's managed to shrink her waist down to a mere 16 inches by wearing a corset for several hours every day for seven years. Okay, so let's get things straight first. Everyone has the words waist trainers in their video title, but then as you click on the video, you start watching the video, then you hear them talking about corsets and the dangers of corsets instead of waist trainers. So I'm going to tell you why they do this at the end of this video. Women who wear these these waist trainers, corsets, which is yeah. really what they are. A shaper that has some flexibility is very different than a yes, rigid corset true. where you literally cannot move. Finally here, the doctors recognize the difference between waist trainers and corsets, but they don't emphasize this. They don't emphasize the difference. Instead, they continue to use the words interchangeably. You're supposed to have bones protecting your key organs, right? right. The reason like your, your rib ribs. cage goes so low is protect your kidneys, your liver, your spleen, organs that if they're injured can be life-threatening. Mm -hmm. And so some people are having their ribs actually removed, oh, which yeah. I really don't think you should do. These waist trainers bend your ribs, crush them, so they stay in a new place forever. That's the idea. And they show how corsets shift your organs. So guys, you have to know that a waist trainer just does not have the capacity to shift your bones and organs like a corset does. It doesn't have have the strength and it doesn't have the rigidity. So here I'm going to show you a corset and I'm going to show you a waist trainer. This here is a corset. So this is a, a regular steel boned corset. Uh, you can see here this is the string. I own both corsets and waist trainers because I've done both in my lifetime. I prefer waist trainers and you know this video is going to attest to that. Here you can see that this is how the boning is and you cannot really bend it. So from the side here, this is as much as it will bend. It's not bendable. So when you wear it around your body, it's very hard for you to bend while you're wearing it. Because it is so strong and because you have this lacing here, you're able to lace it very, very tight. With time, get to those really, really tiny 23 inch, 16 inch waist. And that's what you're gonna see a lot of on the Dr. Oz and the Doctor's TV shows. They're showing people wearing corsets and not waist trainers. This here is a waist trainer, okay? So a waist trainer is made from flexi steel bones. So they're still steel bones, but they're flexible. So as you can see here, they bend. So it provides enough support for you to feel supported, to keep your spine aligned, and to actually make an impact Impact, but not so much that it's actually having the strength and the capacity to now shift your bones, to move your ribs and then move your organs. At Lux Health, we only sell waist trainers. We do not sell corsets. Now, having said that, I think it's still cool and interesting to remember that when a woman gets pregnant and the baby is growing inside her belly, naturally her organs are going to shift. Organs are made to be slippery on purpose so that they can move around. So it's completely natural, it's safe. It's not the most comfortable thing, but it is natural when a woman is pregnant. Well, they say when you first get your waist trainer, you should be wearing it for 10 hours a day. We'll wear them 24 hours a day frequently. They wear them all night long and they wear them for weeks and months on end. Don't they know just instinctively that 
wearing it 24 hours is bad. Now here, they generalize that every woman wears a waist trainer 24-7. And at Lux Health, we simply do not recommend that you wear your waist trainer 24-7. In fact, we recommend a maximum of eight hours per day. And you definitely are not gonna start off wearing your waist trainer eight hours per day right off the bat. You're gonna start on a seasoning schedule. So the first time you receive your waist trainer, you put it on, you wear it as long as you can up to one hour. And then every day you increase your time if you're comfortable, and then slowly, slowly you work your way up to those eight hours. But we don't recommend past eight hours, and the doctors, they exaggerate the time frame that most women are gonna be wearing their waist trainers for. Some people having their ribs actually removed. Some women have gone to the extent of having ribs removed to create that yeah, quote, bottle oh my. figure. They love to show the extreme side of body contouring by showing examples of women who wanna have their ribs removed. They aren't showing your average waist trainee. They're simply showing a very small percentage of women who take waist training, in fact, not waist training, course set training to an extreme and you know the waist trainees that I know the people who buy a Lux health waist trainers they're your average people they're not looking to achieve um, unrealistic results they want to achieve realistic achievable and healthy results whether that's just to shed their mom pooch to help with their diastasis recti to help with their back pain to get more of a shapely figure everyone has a different reason for waist training and it's not fair to just generalize and assume that all women who waist train want to take it to this extreme level and unhealthy level obviously she's doing this because she feels inadequate the way she already looks mm -hmm. and the reality is she's a beautiful woman already yes. so if you don't think you're adequate what if you actually had a few extra pounds because you just had a baby and want to shape yourself back up again? But you're dealing with other issues there. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it's not necessarily to get that womanly figure. It's to just like make it as small as possible. That's the ultimate goal here. It's not about having a waist. Some women want to have a waist. Yeah. And in theory, isn't there a fine line between a corset that's, you know, that's maybe sure. appropriately balance to your body shape as opposed to ones that, like, you're looking at that. Yeah. And let, let's look at what this might be doing to your internal organs. She just gradually, every day, would just put it a little tighter, and she even says she slept in her corset. Oh. Pixie was the example that they had on the Dr. Oz show, and she's a beautiful young woman, but in my opinion, she took corset training too far, and so they used her as an example on their show, which I just don't think reflects the majority of people who are doing this. So the true argument isn't really that waist training is dangerous, it's more so that there's a small percentage of people who take waist training and corset training to an extreme level where it then becomes unhealthy. If it was done correctly, the purpose is to have the waist. It will be used, for example, so after childbirth. Mm -hmm. But when women continue to cinch down, because once you get yourself to 26 inches, yeah. you can go to 24 inches, and eventually, mm -hmm. you know, you get both your fingers around a woman's waist, which is not how it's supposed to work. And, you know, Dr. Oz even said that when done correctly, waist training can help you achieve that uh, smaller waist size, especially after childbirth. As women, we've been doing this for years for beauty, but you have to do it a little bit in moderation. You know, the fact is that corset training, waist training has been around for ages. It's been around since the Victorian era, which is in the 1800s. And if something was that bad, it wouldn't have stuck around for so many years, in my opinion. And if it was really, really bad, I'm sure there would be scientific studies to prove how dangerous it is. And they just simply don't exist. I see women, they put these things on and they go to the gym and think that you're gonna work out. Well, as we saw, you can't even take a deep breath in these. Well, yeah. They also say that women go to the gym with their waist trainers on. That's just not what we recommend at Lux. We actually have a special fitness belt, which is designed specifically for those who love to work out. So you wear this belt at the gym and you replace your waist trainer with it. And it's not made from flexi steel bones. It is more flexible. It's made with Velcro instead of the hooks and eyes of a traditional waist trainer. And the purpose behind that is so that if you do need to take it off, in an emergency situation, you can easily rip off the Velcro. Versus with a waist trainer, it's going to take you more time to get those hooks off. This belt is going to be really great for you. It's gonna help with your form when you work out. And you know, with a waist trainer on, it's harder to work out because you don't get full range of motion. So when you wear the waist belt, you get full range of motion. You're able to take Inhale deep breaths because that's very important at the gym to make sure you're getting in enough oxygen. So we have this product available because we don't recommend that you work out with waist trainers on. It does nothing long term. It doesn't help you lose weight. 
So the doctors also say that the waist trainers do nothing long term. They don't help you lose weight. Actually, it does help you long term, but I don't expect you to take my word for that. So that's why I'm gonna share with you some pictures, some posts, and our Lux Curves Waist Training Dolls Facebook group from real women who have been waist training for a month, two months, three months, a year, two years, three years, who have real results, and that's why they love waist training. All right, so why did they make a TV show dedicated to the dangers of waist training? Well, did you notice how in all the videos they mentioned that Kim Kardashian recently posted a picture of her and her waist trainer? Kim Kardashian recently posted a pic of herself on Instagram announcing that she's really obsessed with corset training. Kim Kardashian yeah. been wearing it. Uh, uh, Jessica Alba had uh, you know, pictures of her and her waist trainer. This is why, this is why they chose to do this because they found that this is a great marketing technique because it was all over the news, it was something buzzworthy, it was something that stirred up controversy and it was just a hot topic. And so they found that, hey, if we create a TV show about it, it's going to elicit curiosity, controversy, it's gonna get a lot of views, and so it's great for marketing. Ouch is right. <laughs> Travis Hold is on. trying to Help like, because I won't. And so I believe that's exactly why they, they have that as their topic. I don't think that they sincerely think it's such a dangerous thing. Of course, there are extremes like mentioned and you know mentioned in the videos as well on their show, but in general, waist training is safe. And and so many people have been doing it for so many years. I think it was just very exaggerated on these TV shows. And I think that when you see it for the first time, uh, not knowing anything about waist training, and it can scare you and it can look intimidating and it can look dangerous. I know this stuff. I do marketing for a living and I know that two years ago when the Kardashians first posted their pictures and their waist trainers, followed by Jessica Alba, followed by Kim, followed by whoever else was posting about it, it was a great opportunity for the news, for talk shows, for press releases and websites to start publishing content around waist training. And in particular, is waist training dangerous? Because that is something that people are always curious about. So I'd like to conclude by sharing my experience of waist training. I've been doing it for the last three years now, and I've noticed no negative side effects, only positive. Some things I've noticed are my spine has strained out. I've lost my lower belly fat, which was a big struggle of mine. I've developed more of an hourglass and shapely figure. Um, I noticed that I have better posture when I'm sitting down at my desk all day while wearing my waist trainer, so it helps decrease my back pain, which was related to having such poor posture all the time. I'm also more in tune with my body. You know, when I'm eating with my waist trainer on, because of that compression, I'm much more aware of when my stomach is growing when I'm eating a lot of food. And so instead of overeating, I tend to just eat until I'm full and then I'm satisfied. I can push my plate away. I don't have to go for seconds. I recommend for you to be a student. Don't be a follower. Just because the doctors or Dr. Oz said something in their videos, don't take it as fact. And same thing goes for this video. Whatever I say, don't take as fact. Do your own research. I'd suggest try waist training for yourself. You know, try it for yourself. Try it for one to two weeks. If you don't like it, you can discontinue using it. If you do like it, you're in for some amazing results. So if you want to join our community of waist training dolls, you can join it on Facebook. We have a Facebook community. It's private. It's called Lux Curbs Waist Training Dolls. Feel free to uh, join that. And also, if you want to try a waist trainer for 10% off, you can try our Lux Health Waist Trainers. Go to luxhealth.com slash waste, uh, and your coupon code will be emailed to you. I do hope you try it uh, before you judge it, just like anything else in this world. Try it yourself before you create an opinion about it. Uh, see if you like it, and if you don't, that's fine. Hopefully this video was informative for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please thumbs up, share it with someone who could benefit from this, and comment down below your thoughts and your opinions on everything discussed, and let me know what you suggest for our next waist training videos. Thank you dolls, have a great day, bye bye. Hey guys, if you liked this video, click here to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell symbol to get notifications when I've got a new video and click here to continue watching videos with me.